Hi everyone. Now this is um, evidence of uh, Bedini Turbo Roast Stage One. Um, just showing you the results. Um, hopefully, uh, the frame rate's okay from my webcam. Simple reason being that uh, my normal camera does not seem to like the uh, light in here. And it usually comes out quite dark. But as you can see, um, it's quite bright on this one. So I can adjust the settings. So let's take a look at what I've got. Forgive me um, for the weird angles because my webcam does not have a very long lead, unfortunately. So let's take a look. Right, first of all, this bit's for uh, Teep himself. Current draw in milliamps on the left voltage on the right okay and as you can see zero milliamps being used okay that's basically when it's not spinning okay the circuit right this one's for um, Vespa uh, two black chips there you'll know what they're for right um, over here in the corner, right? That's the little Bedini circuit that I've got with all the modifications. And you see the capacitors on there. Um, focus is a little bit out, so forgive that one. You can see here that's a Scott key diode, and there's a geranium underneath it. Found some interesting results using the two of them in combination. Uh, so I'm going to post that. That is my Bedini. As you can see, four wires going to it, and nothing else, nothing around the back or anything, apart from all the crap that's on my desk. Right, so what am I going to show you? Right, that's looking at uh, both my multimeters. Right, I've got a one color ohm resistor for the uh, trigger. Um, this is a static resistor and does not change. My hands are, once I start it spinning, I'm not going to touch anything. Right, right, watch this 11 milliamps, 12. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, not yet. Still picking up speed. Eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, you might be able to hear it clicking away, 25, 26, 27, and there we go, stage 1, so we've gone from 27 milliamps down to 22. Still picking up speed. Right, and now we're back to 27 milliamps. 28, 29, 30. Starting to go for it now. 31, 32, 33, 34. 35, 36, and then drop down to 31. So that's 36, dropped to 31, and then it's dropped again down to 27. Still picking up speed. Thirty milliamps, thirty-one milliamps.
peaks out around about 40... No, it doesn't. Well, it does. About 42 milliamps I think it peaks out at. Six. I should definitely be able to hear it clicking away. That's just a little bit of play in the uh, shaft between all the uh, washers. should just sort of creep up to about 42 milliamps. I can make it go faster if I lower the resistance. But I've got a 1 kilo ohm resistance there uh, for the simple reason being that the acceleration is slowed down enough so that you can see the two stages. 41 milliamps. If we use a lower lower resistor, say half uh, 500 ohm, um, it picks up speed very rapidly uh, but it's difficult to see the stages properly. Uh, there is a third stage at around about 60 milliamps um, but obviously with this resistor that we've got in um, you won't see that because it will top out around about 42 as I've said. I'll take a look. Just spinning away. Not that you can actually tell. I'm looking at the screen now as it's recording. You really can't tell that it's actually spinning. See a little, little bit of a wobble on the shaft. So it's a threaded bar. Definitely spinning. Another good thing about these webcams is that a little bit more resilient to magnetic fields. So that's that one. You can see two distinctive drops in current consumption. Right. Um, what is this? This is the two distinct parts of stage one turbo kicking on. Right. The first one, which is the lower stage, is um, basically the, the forward EMF off the drive coil. Right. That's being sent back to the, um, I can't remember which capacitor it is off the top of my head, um, the one that's across the power. Um, I can't remember the capacity number. Uh, and then the second stage is the um, geranium diode uh, recovery off the trigger coil. Right? Obviously that kicks in later because some of the power off the trigger coil is being used to open the transistor. Okay. Um, at the moment I'm not doing anything with the back EMF um, nor am I spilling it off um, with a neon and why hasn't my transistor blown? That's because I'm using a C3150 which is rated up to 500 volts before it breaks down. It's just high voltage transistor which is helpful. Um, so I don't need to do anything with the back EMF. Could that be affecting results? No. Um, because I have had stuff on the back EMF um, to um, take it away and draw draw power from it. Um, so that's about that, I think. Um, for anyone outside of Teep that's watching this, um, full details on the circuit are on the Teep forums. Um, you can get to us at teep.forum.com 
Facebook.com. Um, well, basically, see you there. Hmm. I can see my mouse hair. Hmm. Talk to you later. Bye.